The Sales Manager Application by Secure Retail POS Systems. The Sales Manager. So with our POS side of things, we've set up a separate from the Elba system uh, way to create sales. So we'll have it set up beforehand with the general uh, idea of your system. But essentially what we're doing is going through and just, again, step-by-step -step creating um, a sale. So I'm going to use Andrew's mid-week sale. And mid-week sale, give it a little short name. Um, going to select the type of sale. Right now, uh, there's only discount, but obviously we'll have a variety of other options within there. And again, just going through selecting what that sale amount would be. I'm going to say it's a 75% off discount. Uh, I can set up if I want it recurring. So I'm going to make it a reoccurring thing for every, every week I want this. So every seven days, this will reoccur and we'll have it start and we'll have it start on Wednesday and end today, let's say. And at this point, uh, I'm going to select this. Now, currently we're operating on a general tagging system. There's quite a few programs on this, so it's going to be a little bit slow at this point on your system. This will be working a lot quicker. Uh, but essentially what it's doing is actually connecting with the LBOS that we have and pulling all of the sub departments and categories so that you can, similar to the tagging system and how that was set up, just click the items that I want included in this sale. Um, now, I'm going to also talk about something else on this side of it. It's also set up that it won't proceed if I've missed any of these options. So if I didn't put the discount type in or discount amount, or I clicked reoccurring but didn't do these options, it's not gonna let me through. It's, it's gonna let me know I didn't put in the sales amount or something. And that becomes a key component because with LBOS, uh, when you set up a sale, if I missed putting that discount in, it will still send through like the sales up and running, but the discount wasn't done properly. So. This will is smart enough to kind of detect that things are missing and won't let you proceed without it. Now, at this point, uh, I'm simply just selecting what do I want included in the sale? So what color tags will be included in this? Uh, I'm just going to say red, blue, and yellow. Let's say, you know, we'll go for We'll add pink and go from there. And then other than that, I'm just simply selecting what I want. If I want the entire men's department, I check the entire men's department. If I only want... Uh, you know, pants, jeans, and shorts, I only get that. Again, you can go through and again, like the tagging, just select whatever items I want to be included in this. Just going to click a, a few just to add some in there. And then when I'm done, I just click add. Now it's going to go back to this screen here. It's going to look the same, although it's updated. I'm going to see the number of colors that are included the number of sub departments and the number of categories. So I'm going to know if I miss something, uh, if I need to go in and adjust it, I can do so. But at this point, I'm going to try and save. Now I'm going to make a mistake here and just zero this out. So when I try to save again, that's what I was talking about before. It doesn't allow me to, uh, it'll stop me again. It's smart enough to understand that I've missed a component of this. So I'm going to go back I'm going to have that 75% discount and I'm going to save. Now it's not done yet. I can go into here and view all of my sales. So you can see we've made quite a few here and it goes through and at a, you know, at a high level, I can see exactly what this is, what the sale name is, the sale amount, type of sale, what colors are included, sub departments, categories, start and stop dates. If it's reoccurring, you have all the details. And if need be, you know what? I really, uh, I wanna make this 65% instead. Not a problem. You can always click on it edit that sale, and I'm going to come back in here and make it 65. Why not? And save. Um, and then once I get to this point, it's just simply selecting the item and sending it to where I want to. I'm going to select all terminals at this point, and I'm going to run sale. Now, this is also, again, a smart aspect. If I have set this up for, and it's not in that run period, it won't let me go through. Uh, but at this point, the sale is sending. Uh, now, unfortunately, we're not connected to LBOS on the side of things, so we wouldn't be able to put it through. Uh, but uh, the beauty of this system is that actually wouldn't matter. The sales manager is set up to connect to each individual POS. So if I had my two-lane system and LBOS, typically it goes 
to LBOS and then from LBOS to the POS lanes. With this system, it goes directly to the lane, sets up that sale and sets it up on LBOS. So if for some reason LBOS is disconnected or it's doing something, so it's gonna take a little while to send down that sale, it doesn't matter because this will kind of skirt around that to set that sale up. You can also set up your future sales and it will automatically be sent down. So if I set it up for start tomorrow and I put it in this and set it to run, it will just, again, connect down to the lanes, connect to the LBOS and set up the sale for you. Uh, now the donation manager side and the sales manager side are things that we're working on right now. Um, they're almost done. Uh, but they are things that will be added shortly. Uh, there's obviously some things we need to uh, make work a little bit better, optimizing that reaching out to the uh, LBOS portion of it. But that is more or less the new features that we have with uh, with uh, S tags here and uh, some of the other options. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Hello, I am going to go through some of the new features uh, that Secure Retail has to offer. I'm gonna start off with the STAG system. I'm gonna log in with my user ID, which is pretty standard, but that'll uh, come to show a few new features later on. Um, we're gonna automatically select the color, uh, or you can have this set up based on uh, what color I was using last. So I don't need to change this all the time. It'll either automatically be done or throughout the week, it'll maintain that blue is my color. And when I need to change it, I can still do so accordingly here. Now we're here. Um, some of the new things that we've added is uh, the capability to increase um, the good, better, best, exceptional. So instead of just having these four options here, we now have a quality and condition or quality and brand, depending on how you want to do that. So when I select good, it opens up a tier of pricing from $5.99 to $15.99. If I go up to the next one, we're now $10.99 to $27.99. So again, instead of just having the four, we now have 16 uh, different pricing options that you can use per uh, item. We also have the capabilities to increase those prices based on size. So if you find your mediums are large or whatever your sizing is, you're selling out of specific sizes, I can price bump a dollar based on the medium or large or whatever sizes you wanna do so. So instead of going through and changing all of those price points accordingly, if they select medium, it will automatically bump that process up. Um, one of the features we've added is as I go through, if I come here and print and I made a mistake, I really didn't mean to print that uh, boutique pair of pants. You'll notice this discard last tag button is now built into the screen. I select it, it confirms what that item is. I can now remove it. So quickly and immediately I can get rid of those mistakes. I don't need that barcode scanner or the little uh, rag out scanner to remove those items or do anything in the back end. Um, another one of the features that we've added is uh, when I logged in there with my number one profile, this setup is my setup. So I actually have the capabilities to reorder these buttons. So Christmas is come and gone. You know, let's move these to the bottom. I don't need that. And Oh, I don't do linens or uh, electronics. You know, I don't I do boutique. We'll move that. I can adjust this. So this is my look and screen here. So if I were to go through, let's say miscellaneous, quick number, print and come back, it maintains this look. And I can do so in my departments, my categories, and whatever I need. Save, and there we go. Now, what that also means is if I go into pricer number two here, this is gonna pull up a completely different set. This one is set for an individual who speaks French, you got Spanish, other languages in there, what have you. Um, again, it's also set up for left-handed mode. So again, it's just a little bit easier. These little things that add up that make the process go a little bit quicker. The language one is big because you know, now you can open up your pool 
of who you hire, instead of there being a language barrier as a problem, it's not an issue anymore. Um, the buttons here would obviously be translated accordingly. We're just utilizing a demo system here, but they'll be able to tag through because they'll understand it. It's still gonna print out in English on that tag again, but they're gonna be a much quicker valued member of your team uh, than they would if you were not, uh, if they wouldn't, weren't able to uh, understand the language here. And you'll also notice again, this is a completely different setup. So you can have profiles made for each individual, each store, each group of stores, all of your stores. And again, they'll have complete control of what they can kind of do with this. Um, I'm now going to, again, this, that's the uh, tagging side of things, but where a lot of the work has been done, I'm going to close this, is on the management side of it. So no longer are you going to be using the spreadsheets. We have the S Tag Manager Pro, which will be where you're going to make all these adjustments. So um, I'll jump into the profile management here. You know, when we get this system installed for you, we're going to have all of your weak colors and whatnot accordingly. So I'll click on weak properly here. So these are all the colors. This is, you know, what you saw on the screen, you know, like boutique, e-commerce, all your different colors, however you want to handle that. Uh, same thing with your departments, uh, your categories. Again, we have everything. Now this isn't what's on that screen. This is what we saw because frankly, there's a lot here, but this is where you're going to be inputting this information so that you can add it to the profiles later. So if I wanted to add, for example, something to the department list here, I'm simply just selecting new. I'm putting in a new number, we're gonna say 71, and I'm just gonna add whatever name process I want here. I'm gonna go with winter close because it's pretty cold out right now. Save. Now I haven't added that to the profile, but I've added this to my list of departments and that'll make sense in a little bit. Uh, same thing with sizes, uh, you know, you're adding in all the different size options. With prices, we've gone with uh, price sets. So you have your basic, better, high end, lots of, however you kind of want to have this set up. You can add individual price points, but for quick speed and ease of use, we, we can make these sets in here. Uh, again, this is where you're also going to be adjusting your messages. And this is where you're going to be adding your taggers. Again, just like the departments, it's right click. I'm going to put in their name. If we're going to put in a number or password, if they're left-handed, if they're different languages, what kind of uh, operator they are. Is this a standard operator or are they a supervisor? Again, you can set those security levels. And then this leads into the tagging profile. So with this demo system, we only have a couple options here. But uh, this is where you're actually going to be pulling this data into. So I'm going to open up this content. So this is over here is what you're actually going to see on the screen. So again, there's the Christmas, the Halloween, your women's, all your standard stuff. But as I click through onto women's, again, there's all the categories I had in it. Jeans, there's my sizes, and there's my price points set up there as well. Uh, if I want to remove anything, I simply right click remove department, edit department, or add a department. I will remove dog clothes and then add it back just for ease of use to show you guys how this simple and easy this is to do now. So you right click, you scroll down to dog clothes, or what did I, no, I did winter. Down here, winter clothes. Now I've added that in. Oh, I also clicked on dog clothes as well. And category, same thing. I'm going to right click and I'm just going to scroll through and add the categories that I want. I'm going to go with just jackets right now. So I can put that in. I'm going to click on that, right click, add the sizes for whatever options I want in here. I'm just going to go medium, large, Excel. And for my price points, I'm going to add a set. And I'm going to say we're on the high end price points. So there we go. Now, I haven't actually done anything to the system. I've just added this to a specific profile. And shortly, I'll show you how that will send that down. Uh, we also have in the top corner here additional options. So if I wanted to add colors or different uh, uh, sets in here, if I want to make a color and no discount, if I want to make adjustments to add manual or no cost associated to these, you can. Uh, this is where you're adding it to the stores or removing them. 
adding in your messages, the tag templates, and this is where you're including or removing those taggers. So just like everything else, right click, add tagger. If there's a tagger that's not in here, I click on them, add them. Now when Jim logs in next time, he will be pulling up this profile. So the all important question is how does this actually get down to uh, the tags? Well, when I'm done, I simply just select publish update and click OK. Now that's been sent down to, again, however you want it. I'm sending this down to every terminal, every store, group of stores, however you want. I can send this to all of my tagging terminals in one quick click. Now, when I go back into my tag terminal, you'll see it connected there for a second. So that's actually pulling up. It's checking the system, making sure there's any, if there's any updates, if there is, it's pulling it down and adding it. So anytime that system, again, anytime I close down and open up that program, it's gonna check and update the uh, progress accordingly. If it sees there's an update, it'll pull it. Uh, if there's no internet, it'll just open. Again, the system will function accordingly. Uh, but right now we're gonna go in there and see I've added those winter clothes. Tagger number one, come in, blue color selected, and there's my winter clothes. There's my jackets and blazer. There's the medium large XL, and there's my four different price points all in, and I can print. So again, we're completely done with that uh, S uh, spreadsheet system, um, and we are making it a lot easier to reach out, make adjustments, and set those uh, those prices and adjustments on the tagging that you need. Exit out. The next part I'm going to show you is the donation manager. Uh, so this is a, um, a process of basically barcoding, backstocking, transferring uh, gay lords or bins of clothing or items. So with this new system, it's kind of a combination between a handheld unit, a barcode printer, and we're talking about a, a large printer, not a small barcode, like our barcoding tagging system. So if I were to come in here and want to add a Gaylord, I just simply select add. If we're weighing them, we can. Uh, we'll have category selection here, so you can say what is in this Gaylord. Um, in this case, again, our demo system isn't well documented. So I'm just going to say it's Christmas brick rack. If I want to add notes, no, I'm going to say it's decorations and post. So now that's going to print out on a piece of paper that we can put on the side of this Gaylord. Uh, and from there, we can essentially track this as it goes through. What this actually does is create, I'm going to have a bin tag right here. Again, a barcode like this. So it has the details of what I put on there, the sizes, and that, again, important barcode. Uh, so when I come back into here, once I've added that, it's in, uh, we have a few options that you can kind of work with here. So there's the open container, which allows me to open it up uh, and either begin barcoding or putting it into small, smaller different containers where you're making a bin box for them. So I just simply scan that barcode and start pulling out those items. Uh, I have the capability of moving the container. So for example, if I'm putting it to certain areas of the warehouse, we can set those up. So I'd scan that barcode, put it into holding overflow or wherever you want. Uh, again, however you kind of want to set that and then post that move. So you can pull up a report and see what containers are where, where are they going? Um, now, if I'm transferring out, same kind of idea, I'm using that handheld scanner to scan that barcode and send to either another warehouse, another store, uh, what have you, and post that out. And then at the store level, you can actually scan the bill of lading. So if I had a bunch of uh, Gaylords that were being sent over or bins, uh, I would just scan that one item, it would pull them all up and you could just check receive as they come through. So you can basically tra track that your uh, delivery person has actually brought in all of the items they are supposed to. So essentially we are tracking those items as they're being sorted, as they're being backstocked, as they're being sent to the store or around that warehouse, wherever you kind of want. 
Um, we're looking at adding more and more to this side of things for better tracking, but that is part of a future update. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to contact us anytime.